Please welcome the man himself to the stage, Dennis Quaid. Along with our favorite Marine Corps bomb technician, you know him, you love him, Joey Jones. Well, thank you, Pete. We are really proud here to be able to introduce all of you to a truly remarkable individual. Yeah, we're coming up on 80 years since the anniversary of D-Day, a day when the greatest generation saved us all. And of the 16 million Americans, 16 million Americans 80 years ago who fought in World War II, only 120,000 are still with us today. That's why it's so important to keep our history and their story alive. That's right. 99-year-old Andy Negra is a testament to the greatest generation's spirit of valor and sacrifice. He is believed also to be the last living member of his artillery unit, and he continues to inspire. Here's his story. The armies of the United Nations have made their first landings on the soil of Western Europe. This is the supreme moment of invasion. This is frontal assault. The Germans were only 20 miles in. We had 18 self-propelled 105 artillery guns. Our job was to divide the enemy, get to your target, and then we would notify the guns exactly where the Germans were and what to shoot at. During that time, we were shelled, and when they shot, they didn't shoot one or two. They shot a batch. You jump out of the half track, you dig your foxhole, wait until the shelling's over with, and then move on to the next target. The good Lord has saved my life so many, many times. I'm 99 years old. As far as I know, I am the last surviving member of the 128th Armored Field Artillery, 6th Armored Division of World War II. I am the last one. To go back to France, that really hit me hard. People would come up to me and shake my hand and thank me for my service. And I tell them real quick, I says, Find out all you can about the outfit that your dad or grandfather was in. And they can tell their grandchildren. It can continue on, and it'll never end. I don't need to see why it's so difficult to allow us to teach the story of our country. We're allowing the bad guys to take advantage of it. I saw a lot of horrible things, but you couldn't let them get the best of you. If you can't make the best of every day that the good Lord gives you, then you're wasting your life. There's so much good you can do to the world. Live your life to the best. That's my way of living. is this year's Salute to Service recipient.
Come here, sir. Yes, sir. I certainly will. It'll be an honor. Thank you all very much. You're putting me to tears, and I don't like to cry. <laughs> to Fox Nation, to Fox Nation, and to the awards committee that selected me to be representative for all veterans, I want to thank you. It's an honor to represent them. I heard the new figure of 125,000 of us still left, and I've asked God to be the last one out of the 125. <laughs> <laughs> and, and knowing God as I do, he'll let me be the last one. <laughs> There's a lot of us still alive. There's a lot of us still doing what they're doing when, during World War II. You gotta understand, we were 18, 19 years old when we went in. I graduated out of high school and two, two weeks later I was heading for Fort Bragg, North Carolina. After, after that it was history. I learned real quick of what to, service to the country meant. I learned I learned new jobs, I learned new work, I learned how to rely on my friends, I relied on everything around me to, to protect me. Out of the war, I got two things that I'm very proud to say. I survived, and the second thing is, I met my wife, who I was married to for eight, 71 years. She passed away six and a half years ago at the age of 90. So uh, all you guys out there, if you could find one like me or if you have one like me, you're being blessed. And that's what I had. I had one. This is quite a thing. I, I was surprised to be selected for this particular job. But I represent all of the World War II veterans that are still alive. And for the other veterans out of the other wards, let me assure you, I represent you too. That's the Iraq and all the rest of them. So thank you all very, very much. I'm limited on time. I like to speak for a half an hour to an hour. <laughs> Sergeant. They don't, they don't have a hook in there long enough to reach us. And it's my job to ask questions of people that need to share their wisdom with us. You've been here for nearly a century. You've yes. seen these wars. You've seen what we fought. You freed a generation of people from concentration camps in Nazi Germany. You see what's happening in the world today. We've got Americans stationed in the Mediterranean. There's a lot going on. I would love to know where your mind and heart is right now with everything you see in this country. Right. You want the truth? One word. It's a mess. That's, I never thought that we fought so hard during World War II to find the country in the condition that it is today. But, but let, me assure, let me assure all of you, every time this country ever got into a problem, they solved it. So regardless of what's going on now, we will break this badness and get back to the good. I assure you.
Did I answer your questions? Yes, sir. You got any other? Come on, Joe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Andy Negro. Thank you all very, very much. I like to add, finish up by saying, <laughs> live, live the kind of life that I have. I enjoy every minute of the day. My people ask me, what do I contribute to my health? And I all tell them all the same thing. God only gave us one day at a time. He did not prom promise us tomorrow. So make the best of it. Take care of yourself, have a positive attitude, and proceed to enjoy every day that the good Lord gives you. Well, Andy, that's why we do the Patriot Awards. And, and to all the kids out there, to the kids, are you listening? There was a generation of Americans who stood up 80 years ago and saved the free world. That will be required of another generation again. Either abroad or at home, it's gonna require Patriots. So Andy, thank you so much for your service and may we muster an ounce of what you and your generation gave to this country.